you already cover in one of the labs that you did? Um, this is a tough subject. <laughs> uh, it was not covered in the lectures, and it was covered only through YouTube recording uh, on the, on the on the labs. So the okay. next homework will include computing absorption spectra, but there is no evidence that anyone in the class uh, has an idea how to comp how to go through practical uh, steps of doing it. Okay, no, that sounds good. We need to make sure that um, everyone get an idea at least where uh, how to start. And uh, there are actually, well, the life is hard because there are three uh, components. One is the last one, and probably the easiest one, is spectra. And before there is a, a creation of periodic cells, and the second one is uh, plotting molecular orbitals in VASP, which is super easy if you have correct software. But uh, since we do not have a centralized uh, facility, it is suggested that everyone installs appropriate software at home computers. So it is more uh, what was yesterday on the YouTube. It were it was more like software installation session for VASP okay. view. Gotcha. And uh, well, there is way to convert part charges into cube files and plot with Gauss view. What probably everyone will pick up, but. Uh, Not not easy. Okay, so uh, please please uh, I'm saying hello to everyone in class, <laughs> and uh, I will be uh, departing from from the session soon because. Uh, it is just a break on a conference, and um, my presence is ne needed there. But I will listen maybe first five minutes and see how you guys doing. But then feel free to interact uh, freely without looking at me. I will be leaving the room. Okay. All right. So um, this is going to be a little bit more of an interactive class period, hopefully. A lot of uh, back and forth and um, me answering some questions, but also providing some of the um, initial groundwork for, um, well, one, calculating uh, absorption spectra in VASP, um, and then secondly, uh, we'll go through and discuss um, how the electronic structure optimization fits into uh, geometric structure optimization, which you guys have. So does that sound good with everyone? Got a thumbs up from Brendan? Okay. So from the slides that Kim sent me, it looks like you guys um, were discussing the Conchon algorithm in the last class period um, and looking at how uh, the electron density correlates to the total energy um, of some given uh, molecular system. And from where that fits in, you guys are on 21 out of 30, so getting close to being finished. Yay for that. And um, you guys are also doing presentations in a couple lectures. Is that correct? Yay, yay. Yeah, you are? Okay. I'm a little out of touch with what's going on. All right. So I would assume that you all have something uh, that you already know you're presenting on at this point. No? Okay. Well, then I would assume Dr. Kellen will distribute that at some point. Next slide, next, uh, next slide shows uh, distributed tasks. Oh, this slide shows distributed tasks. Okay. Oh, there are no uh, names here. Do you have names in mind? Yes, I do, and uh, I've sent an email to everyone. So, uh, okay. uh, a note to the to the class: Please send me an email if you do not have idea what you are presenting. 
there was a there was a centralized email to everyone um, with names telling who presents what. Okay. All right. So yeah, I guess keep that in mind for a couple of weeks. And if you guys have questions on any of the topics um, that you're presenting on, we can talk about that towards the end of class uh, today as well. So just feel free to ask. Um, Either today or just shoot me an email if you have questions. Um, okay. Well then, I guess the first thing uh, that we'll jump into is calculation of um, absorption spectrum of a given system. And so, uh, to begin with, where the spectrum comes from, um, we take a look at at what parts are all involved in calculating um, an absorption coefficient. So here uh, we're looking mainly um, at this DIJ, the transition dipole element, uh, for a given transition between two specified electronic orbitals. And so you guys had um, looked at um, the generation of electron, uh, the Kronchamp orbitals um, in terms of total energy. Um, but one of the important things to keep in or take into consideration about dipoles is the basic idea is just a separation of charge 